This lesson is all about stamping printmaking. I'm gonna be showing you two different ways. The first way you're gonna need some markers, pens, pencil, a styrofoam tray, and some paper. I have two different types here. I have a sheet of computer paper, and then I have a thicker white sheet of paper. For the other set, you're going to need some paints, paintbrush and water, your choice of hot glue, a stapler, or some regular glue, some regular household items, and then a pair of scissors. Don't forget your messy mat to cover your space and keep your area clean. I'm going to begin by putting my paint on some pieces of some tin foil. If you don't have tin foil, you can use trays, you can use any sort of a recyclable plastic, you can even use another sheet of paper. I'm just stretching out that paint and then setting it off to the side to use later. I'm gonna begin with my toilet paper roll and my plastic bottle. I like that the round top of the bottle could be used for a really cool round stamp, and I noticed that the roll was easily bent to make different shapes. So I decided to try to make a flower by cutting pieces of that toilet paper roll off and making petals that I could then attach together. You can attach these petals together using regular glue, just know it takes a little longer to dry, staples, or you can even use hot glue. I chose to use hot glue just because it was quicker and I'm comfortable using hot glue. Make sure you're asking for your parents' permission before you use hot glue. Once my flower was all put together, I then dipped it in the paint to use it like a stamp. I wanted to make sure that I was applying even pressure to cover all of the bottom of those petals with paint. If there were some spaces that were missed, I could easily just use my paintbrush to paint in those places and then I could begin my prints. If you do not press down hard enough on your stamp or if you do not have enough paint on your stamp, it's not gonna leave behind a very good impression. What you're gonna wanna do is apply more paint, make sure you're pressing down hard on your stamp and that way your stamp will work a lot better. For the items you have found from around your house that you did not have to create on your own, simply take the area you're wanting to stamp, put it in the paint, and then press onto your paper. Make sure you're checking with your parents and guardians first before you use any items from around the house in your prints. Make sure it's okay to use the item before you press it into the paint. The other method of making your own stamp involved using your styrofoam piece. I'm gonna cut off the edges so I have that nice center piece that's flat. I'm gonna trim a little piece off for later, and then I'm gonna take my piece of computer paper and I'm gonna cut it to the same size as my sheet of styrofoam. On that sheet of computer paper, I'm going to do a quick, simple drawing. So here's the drawing that I did, and I'm gonna take that drawing and I'm gonna tape it on top of my styrofoam piece. I'm using the tape to hold it in place so when I go to trace my lines, the piece doesn't move. I'm gonna use my pens to trace over all of those pencil lines pressing down into the styrofoam. Once you've traced all the lines, you can peel back the drawing to now see the impressions that have been left in the styrofoam. I'm gonna to continue to trace over those lines now, removing my drawing and using my pen to trace over my lines one more time, making sure that they're nice and deep in the styrofoam, but be careful not to pull chunks of the styrofoam out. You can use another pen again just to make sure you've covered all of your lines and then you'll be ready to do your printing. I'm going to use markers to color in my drawing on top of my styrofoam. I want to make sure that I color the entire thing and then the piece of paper that I'm going to be printing my drawing onto, I'm going to get a wet napkin and I'm going to just lightly wipe over the piece to make sure that there's some water on my paper. Once that water is on there, I can then take my stamp that I have now made of my cactus drawing and I can print it on top. I can press down on top like this or you could always put the paper on top of your styrofoam and you can rub using your hands to cover the entire sheet. Once you finish rubbing, peel off the paper to reveal your first print. I see I have some areas where the color bled. That just means I had too much water. But the good news is I can wipe off my styrofoam piece and I can redo my print again. You can do any color combinations you want and you can recolor this piece of styrofoam as many times as you would like. For my next print, I decided to try a little bit less water on my paper to see how my print would turn out this time. I was much happier with this print because I could see I didn't have any colors that bled this time. And you'll also notice that any of the lines that we had drawn with pen are now white because no marker was able to get into those lines when we colored our piece of styrofoam. Our prints are also mirror images, so be mindful about words. If you write a word facing forward, like my word hey here, and I try to print it, you're gonna notice that those words are gonna end up backwards. 
If you would like to attempt to write a word, remember this is a mirror image, so you're gonna have to write the word backwards. 